Copy that, I'm gonna go to the top of this hill. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is a pretty well-established road. It did have like 149, the number on it. Makes me think that we're in the right zone. Like it probably connects, not a dead end. I'm Rob LaPierre. I grew up in Plattsburgh, New York. I'm now the Jackson Hole Ski and Snowboard Club Freeride Program Director. Josh, take a step to two steps to the right. I didn't get into skiing until I was about eight years old. And the very first time I skied, I, I think I uh, connected with that feeling of freedom and just flying down the mountain, playing with gravity and you know, young adrenaline charged boy. It was that like positive reinforcement that I needed to be addicted. <laughs> Yeah! Holy the sick fucking bastard. <laughs> I had an opportunity when I was 14 years old to go to Colorado and got to ski powder for the first time ever. Growing up on the East Coast, that's something that you dream about. And getting to experience that for the first time is an addicting thing. Holy crap, that was nice flat dude. and fun and deep. The next pivotal moment for me was in college. You know, I was making all my decisions based around skiing. Dollars and cents wise, it didn't make any sense to continue going to school in Vermont. Then go to school where the skiing's 10 times better. And within three days of investigating this school, packed up my car and was gone out to Colorado Mountain College. My motivation was that being a pro skier was like a ticket around the world. And I was really looking for something different at that time in my life, ready to move into more of a big mountain ski scene but I got my ass kicked. I went through a lot of injuries in the eight or 10 years. Felt like every time I would go to a comp, I was on my bottom dollar and gambling everything. All right, in third place, total score 104.13, Rob LaPierre. Yeah! Yeah, yeah Rob! All right, well done, Rob. Representing again. All right. I mean, when I first landed here, I was ski bumping it as hard as possible, like sharing a loft with three other people, paying as little as possible for rent, working as little as possible. But I realized I didn't have the resources to dedicate to as much time as it took to be the pro skier I wanted to be. For me, it was more of a slow evolution that I finally realized my life is more balanced when I'm not just always chasing this one dream. And I think in my head, the dream has shifted from being that world traveling pro skier to live somewhere where I was inspired to ski and travel and have a lifestyle based around skiing that still afforded me the opportunity to pay my bills. So one of the coaches of the Freeride program approached me at the end of that season and he's like, you'd be a great fit. We'd love for you to coach next year. But yeah, over time, I just realized that it's just as fulfilling to help someone work on their skiing and achieve their dreams. And now I feel like I've got a balanced life, I get to ski, and I'm super thankful for just my coaching opportunities. Yeah, 10 years later, still doing it. Smooth Aiden style, bud. Pulling down, staying at the bottom, screaming. Yeah, Aiden! This is such a great place to be, but it doesn't come without a struggle, you know. Real estate is through the roof, and you know, there's nowhere to live here. I mean, I, I definitely <laughs> doubted myself. I went back to the East Coast for like three or four months just thinking that I was gonna become a cop <laughs> in upstate New York. It's so far from who I am or what I could do with my life, but uh, you just keep plugging away and it seems to work out, but there's been a lot of times where it's ups and downs and question your path, you question your choices, your decisions, who you really think you're going to be. I don't know, it seems like it just suddenly found me.
I knew I couldn't live somewhere that I didn't want to be. I wanted to live somewhere where I was inspired. And if we only have one life to live, so you gotta like take advantage of it, live it to the fullest. And everyone that's here wants to be here. And if you weren't willing to endure the struggle it takes to be here and to be rooted here, then you would have been weeded out. And it's because you want it and you're willing to work for it. And 10 years later, glad that I've persevered.